Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Tatiana Damianovic, and today I will answer one of the most often questions in the world of the beauty industry, how to recognize a good female pigment. A lot of people are asking us what will happen with the pigmentation in time and how will the pigments turn out when they fade. So if you are a female artist yourself and if this sounds like something interesting to you, then please consider subscribing. When we think about stretch mark camouflage, we think of natural powdery results. These results can be achieved only if you have the right pigments. If the results are good, it will show over time when the skin will get tested by sunbathing, exfoliation and fading. If you want to be a pro yourself and to have returning customers, you need to provide the best quality and stand behind it. There seems to be much confusion over the use of organic and inorganic pigments used for permanent makeup. There are two types of pigments used for permanent cosmetic makeup. Iron oxides, inorganic pigments, lakes, organic pigments. The two artists use ink. A pigment is a combination of two or even more colors. It is very important which is the predominant color or pigment as it will come to the fore after healing. The pigment should not migrate under the skin as the durability will be shorter in combination with the undertone and skin tone. Pigment viscosity glycerin. It is always added as it is its job to retain the dyes in the powder. Too much glycerin can increase pigment migration, which has a bad effect on the pigment intake itself as it will be too thin and not viscous enough. The pigment in the powder separates and this can be tried in jars. We will do a little experiment. You can also try that at home. We will prove that our pigments are mineral. That means they are appropriate for stretch mark camouflage. We will pour some water into the jar and add some drops of the pigment. The pigment instantly spreads in the water meaning the healed result will be as natural as it can be. If the particles of the colors were large, the pigment would sink to the bottom of the jar, meaning the results would look harsh and uneven. It is very important that the individual dyes in the pigment are of the same density so that the pigment does not look uneven or too colorful after healing. Typical components of pigments are iron oxide, other metal hydroxides like titanium, chromium, and copper, lakes, soluble dyes, azo insoluble dyes. The raw dyes used in the production of the pigments must be in a harder state, otherwise they would melt in body fluids and disperse under the skin. Given that dyes are a powder, they are converted to a liquid state so that the pigment can be introduced under the skin. In summary, the pigments are mixed with water and glycerin. The pigments, of course, also fade. Our pigments have the highest percentage of titanium dioxide, which is white in its original form and is always added to lighten the pigments. Our base is also white. If we translate that into real life, it means the camouflage will always look lighter and even if the additional coatings of the pigmentation fade, the base will stay light. This is very important for our therapists because it gives them confidence when choosing the right color. When you are performing a sensitive treatment like stretch mark camouflage, you need to use pigments that are specially developed for this purpose. We do not recommend the two ink for this type of treatment because the two colors were developed for a different purpose. They were developed for colorful artwork where color durability is needed. Tattoo ink was made for precise tattoo artists who have an excellent knowledge of color shades. We recommend mineral pigments instead, which are specially made for camouflage treatment. You can also increase the chance to really get natural looking results with our camouflage finisher. This is an innovative product that must be used for powdery effect. 
You will not achieve as even coverage as you could if you just perform a regular pigmentation. We developed the finisher in collaboration with our chemists to guarantee a soft look. So how does it work? Thanks to the viscosity of this product, the spreading of the inserted pigment is more even. It gives a powdery effect due to the innovative ingredient mixture. You apply it after the camouflage is done, wait for two minutes so the product starts working and voila, you just wipe it off. My recommendation to my therapists is to also use it during the work if they notice the client's skin is dehydrated, meaning it soaks a lot of the pigment along the way. What type of pigments are you using for pigmentation? I will put the link to my pigments in the description box so you can give it a try if you like. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye guys!